infinities work to some degree when you postulate them as given, which means you basically uh, create a virtual black box and say this box is able to uh, deal with the following types of infinities and perform the following operations over them. And then you can reason over that box. But I think in reality what happens, we had never had such a box. And if it, uh, it did exist, we would not be able to recognize it or describe it. And the assumptions that we can describe it exhaustively by defining a process that can be implemented that results in solving this infinity leads into contradictions, which means the word infinity does not actually mean anything. Mm. It, uh, it, it can only be used in a system of language that is inconsistent, mm. which means uh, it's, it's not useful to describe a reality that is consistent. And uh, so if you want to describe a consistent reality, you need to find a different word that does the same work. Mm. And if Abitman you look infinity. at uh, in which context is, did we use infinity? And we typically use infinity in the context where we have too much stuff to count. Yeah. And when you look at the physics around us, the environment, that it's mostly made of too many things to count, right? All, the, all these molecules, you cannot count them. So you have to look at the uh, dynamics of many molecules in the aggregate and the limit. And this, this limit is... Uh, is if you had infinity many, right? And so geometry is the behavior of too many things to count. It's exactly those operators uh, that uh, give you pretty much the same result if you have uh, a few trillion parameters uh, or a few quadrillion parameters, as opposed to a few dozen parameters. Mm. And when the difference between a few trillions and a few quadrillion parameters is smaller than the difference between a few trillion to a few dozen parameters, then uh, you are looking at things where you have convergent operations and uh, you cannot completely be able to compute them, but you can decently approximate them. Mm. So we ha you have an effectively computable geometry. And this is the kind of model that our own mind does when it deals with the world around us, where things look to you as if they're infinitely, resol infinitely finally resolved. You just look at behavior of stuff in the limit. Mm. 